Because it is indeed one of the premier judo programs in all of the country, and it comes from right here in Southern California. It's been a family affair for nearly 50 years. Our Chris Harry went out to check out Guerrero's Judo Club in La Puente to find out how they are producing champions and bringing the, co the community together. So judo is, a, is an Olympic sport, it's a Japanese martial art, and the way we need to think about it is that there's no punching, no kicking. So most people think of judo and they think of punching, kicking, but it's none of that. It's, it's a little bit more closely related to like a wrestling, high school wrestling or a jiu jitsu, um, but where jiu jitsu is primarily 80% on the ground, 20% standing, judo is 80% standing, 20% on the ground. So I'm looking at your, uh, your sweater right there, uh, Grows Judo Club. This was established in 1974. Tell me about the origin story here. Yeah, so actually my dad started the, the program um, back then. He started it in the city of El Monte. Um, he only taught it for a dollar a year. Um, and at that time, El Monte was in you know, a little bit of a rougher area. And a lot of the kids that he, um, that he taught, this is all they had. We've been here in the city of La Puente since 2014. And very gracious to the city of La Puente for everything they've done to support our program. Successes, I think, would be an understatement when talking about this club. Uh, national champions, why don't you tell me about uh, all the accomplishments you guys have had to date? Being national champions is, hasn't happened in over 20 years. The last time we did it was in year 2000. And um, when we first believed we could do it was last year at the San Jose Junior Olympics. We took third, which was unheard of for us. We had to go to um, Lubbock, Texas. We had to go to uh, Shreveport, Louisiana, where we actually did take first. And uh, for to get, a, to get a group of 23 kids, to go to Shreveport, Louisiana and to commit to do multiple divisions, some of them, and just to see what happens. It, it, to be honest, me and my brother couldn't believe it when it happened. It was just pretty surreal. You're 16 years old, mm -hmm. and we're talking about somebody who's going to the Pan American Games. Tell me how you got to this point. I think it had a lot to do with my coaches believing in me and pushing me to like get to where I am right now, and a lot of dedication and commitment because I had to like sacrifice a lot of the things normal kids would be doing right now to come to practice and to work for it. What makes you want to make those sacrifices? I don't want to just go out there for fun. I want to come back with medals. You play to win. Yeah. It was a culmination of a lot of things. It was our board members that put in a lot of work. It was our coaches that put in a lot of work, our athletes, our parents, you know, and it was everybody just doing a little bit to get us to this point. And not only does this program get you ready physically, yeah. but maybe even more important, mentally.